This is day five of our Mayan Historian Loop. And we are at the Switzerland <laughs> of Thailand. We've made it all the way to the city of Mae Hong Son and on day four, we set out to see the Kayan people of Hwai Pu Kang village. These people fled the civil war in Burma 36 years ago and have settled to call Thailand their home. <laughs> These women are famously known for wearing brass rings around their necks, which gives their village the name Long Neck Village. We had heartfelt conversations with them and left touched by their lifestyle and kindness. We opened up about our dreams in that video and today we are continuing on our fifth day of the 700 kilometer journey, starting off with a morning drive in the mist. It was a beautiful cool morning as we made our way to Ban Rak Thai, a small Thai Chinese village at the border of Thailand and Myanmar. Let's get on the road. It's a beautiful misty morning out here and it's so stunning to see the mist just rising from the mountains and just covering the landscape. It's just incredible to see. And so tall. You should, you, should, you should come on this side. It, it kills you way better. Yeah? Yeah. It's like piercing into the sky, dude. <laughs> and they're shooting straight up into the sky. So what I don't understand how how thin it is, but the fact that it's still able to maintain its structure going so tall. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Incredible, right? Yeah. I do think bamboo is stronger than steel. Yeah, it's I think equivalent, yeah. Yeah. Or or, or stronger probably. <laughs> like it's just solid, dude. We went to the bamboo forest in Japan. Yeah. 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 But these but are thicker. It's it's thicker, it's, yeah. And getting to see bamboo this close. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but yeah, if you're on your way. Uh, to Ban Rak Thai, uh, then this is definitely, you know, a quick little mini stopover. Stop over, yeah. It's called the Bamboo Complex. It's going to be on your left. And uh, beautiful, just gigantic just bamboo. And then uh, I think you can even probably walk around. Like, there's a bridge on the there. There's beautiful stream, water stream here. And uh, it's very tranquil, very relaxing. Honey, 
and we are at the Switzerland <laughs> of Thailand, which is Pang Ung Lake. We're currently here. It's stunning. It's a beautiful alpine lake. It's like a reservoir uh, with trees surround pine trees, pine trees surrounding yeah. it, and uh, it's a beautiful day. Yeah. And we're here to Beautiful enjoy morning. it. Yeah. <laughs> There's a little wooden bridge here that we have to cross to get towards uh, another sign here at the lake but there's a couple of vans of tourists that just came <laughs> thank you <laughs> and um, it's actually really popular among the locals not so much tourists so local Thais uh, come here to visit and uh, usually it's not that busy but then it gets really busy during like public holidays and sometimes weekends so if you're coming, try to come in the low season. But the best time to come is during winter so you could see the mist rising up in the morning, which makes for uh, really stunning photos. So there are a couple ways to get here. You could either take the yellow sun cow from town. Uh, you could take a tour bus, a uh, mini, minivan, which uh, you'll probably see on the road, the silver ones. Uh, we've, we've been seeing that a lot uh, on the road lately, uh, coming down this way. Uh, which also takes you to Panrak Thai. Or you could take a motorcycle and do a DIY. Don't have to be restricted by time or anything like that. Spend as much or as little time as you want. In the Northern Thai dialect, the word Pang means shelter and the word Ung means wetland. So Pang Ung. And this area was previously used for opium farming and then Her Majesty the Queen decided that to start this initiative, this is part of the royal uh, project and so they decided to rehabilitate this area and actually turn it into like agro tourism. So they have a lot of vegetables and herbs that they plant here now instead of uh, opium. So that's quite an interesting fact to know. We've never been to Switzerland, but this sure kind of feels like it because the just the serene still lake with the boats going by and there's also cows behind me with the bells, you know, the iconic cowbells of Switzerland and then we also have a couple of swans uh, that are on the lake. Where did you come from? Hi! So it kind of does feel like Switzerland even though we've never been there but we've seen a whole lot of videos it feels like it. I think it's a, also a great place for kids because you do have your cows, there were chickens running around, there's swans, uh, there's a nice resting area over there and then you could, t the, I think the, probably the highlight is taking the bamboo rafts uh, over on the water and I think early morning would be best. But the reservoir is gorgeous, it loops all the way around and they also have like you can rent I guess a bamboo rafts and then you can just go on a raft ride around the lake and uh, it's just stunning to see we kind of made it here later than expected because of all these curves and you know just the early morning we didn't think that the mist was going to rise as quickly as it did but by the time we got here there was no mist so my advice is if you're going to come here try to come get here really early so nice to even look at people enjoying so much and I forgot to mention that you can also camp here uh, so there are a lot of tents set up over there uh, just so it'll be easier for you to wake up in the morning and just experience the mist so you don't have to drive up like an hour from Mae Hong Son so if you really want to catch that mist maybe even uh, think about camping out here yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
It was time to make our way to a charming little Yunnanese village known as Thailand's most beautiful village. It's surrounded by mountains of tea plantations and still home to Chinese style and Yunnan traditions brought here by Chinese settlers and we were so excited to do some tea tasting and spend the rest of our day here. We have our tickets to visit the tea plantation and that's 20 baht per person. So let's go up and explore. You can borrow the hats and the baskets. So you can go use them for your photo ops and then bring them back and return it. And it's included with the 20 baht fee. Nice. This is so cool. Yeah. <laughs> it could, ah, you can it's a little one. I think you should have a hat too. Huh? Because it's very hot. He's officially a tea planter, <laughs> harvester, <laughs> a tea picker, a tea picker. Oh, this is cool. Cool. So I know it's this. super hard work and stuff, and nothing to compare. But this is really nice to go roam around the plantation. Yeah. And get our Manrak Thai tea plantation photos. <laughs> Welcome to Van Raktai. <laughs> this is the most romantic and the most beautiful village, considered the most beautiful village in Thailand. Yes, and we are actually in the middle of a tea plantation. Yes. Uh, we have the Lee Wine Resort in the back. Mm -hmm. So there are guest houses which you could stay at. It is made out of mud in itself, pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. And then in front of it is the tea plantation, rows of tea plantation. You could pay 20 baht do an experience of uh, walking uh, yeah walking with amongst the tea leaf plantation yeah. and just kind of experiencing what uh, tea leaf pickers would experience we've got the hat I've got, got the, the basket, basket over yeah. there I mean it's just really nice with the Chinese themed guest houses, uh, guest yeah. houses in the background so the people that settled here are from the Yunnan province in China so most of these people are Yunnanese and they brought their Yunnanese culture, tradition, customs, and cuisine all here to Van Rak Thai. There's also only under a thousand people that live here so mm. it's it's pretty small and you're able to get around all around Van Rak Thai within a few hours of just exploring on foot. So a little walk among the grounds of the resort you have a sitting area Ban Rak Thai is actually known as Mei Ao, but then it's popularly known as Ban Rak Thai, and that is translated into Love Thai Village. Yeah. It's considered one of the most beautiful villages in all of Thailand, and we are visiting it today. Yeah, uh, it is about what, 40 kilometers from Mei Hong San? Yes. Uh, and only a kilometer away from the Myanmar Burmese border. And the reason being uh, th this village came about was the KMT fighters. So they were the anti communist fighters, mm -hmm. um, nationalists uh, that fled uh, China. China during the war. Mm -hmm. um, and they settled basically a kilometer into Thailand's border. And t today it's, this uh, town is now supported by tourism, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the tea plantations. You could do a lot of tea tasting and staying at cottages like this. And it, it, I don't know if you can hear the, there's some construction work going on. It seems like there's more cottages, more cottages yeah. being constructed right now as we speak. But next is us trying to find our way around town. It is a pretty small town. Mm -hmm. And then they also have boat rides on the lake. Yeah, the beautiful wooden boat rides. If you're coming, I think the best time to come is during the early morning. Uh, right before sunrise so you could see the mist just rising yeah. off of the lake. It's so stunning. I think the first boat leaves around 6.30 a.m. Uh, and then 7.10 a.m. So those would be the best times to be here to experience a wooden boat ride over the misty lake. Yes. So first of all, the main product I would say is the tea mm -hmm. that they have. So many different types of oolongs, rose tea. Jasmine tea. Jasmine tea. Uh, there's some other tea names that I've never heard of. A lot of dried plums and dried fruits. They also do uh, some free wine tastings. So if you if you do drink, <laughs> you mm -hmm. can do your free wine tastings and 
uh, there. Yeah, actually, we're sitting not too far from the uh, brewing area. So they brew it in the clay pots. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they make the wines out of fruits. Um, all could, types of fruits. All types like of fruits. Like strawberries, yeah. plums. Uh -huh. Uh, dates, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, just um, and and the clay pots just sit on the side of the hill, mm. just baking in some. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. This is yeah. a hill tribe village, yes. and then it is tucked away, so it's not really touristy. <laughs> Two of the best times is like either sunrise or sunset. Mm. Even the sunset when the lanterns come on, mm. it just gives it such a nice ambiance to the whole lake area. Yeah. And there's uh, like so many different types of accommodations and mm. tea uh, tea shops, coffee shops as well. And e everything everything is picturesque. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they purposely made it mm. that way, but it's very aesthetic. It's mm. it's very nice. Beautiful, beautiful uh, trip here. It, it was it was worth the drive. Yeah, here. totally, yeah. totally worth the drive. And what's going to be worth the drive is us going over to the border. Off to Myanmar we go. Did you bring your passport? Oh my god, it's in my backpack though. Right, cool. <laughs> Just in case. Walking over a questionable bamboo bridge. Just to uh, the viewpoint. <laughs> <laughs> Look, a giant teapot. <laughs> This Ban Rakta is known for their tea plantation, so we are actually very excited to have some tea right from where it's grown. Exactly. That's exciting. So if you're coming to Ban, ban Rak Thai, one of the, if you don't eat or anything, you just at least must try their, their teas. Tea. Yeah. And we shall see what peppers they have, but they, they, they seems like they got a lot. Rose tea, we have top dew tea, oishi tea, we have oolong, which I really like. Meal flower tea, sweet osmanthus tea, jasmine white tea, and there's a couple of actually oolongs. There's like number A, number 17, and number 12. Choice of Thai tea? Yes, oh my god. Yeah, it comes with the tea leaf. Yeah, tea leaf, yeah. Nice. Oh my god. Looks good. It looks delicious. Oh my goodness, this and the view. We are actually at the Lee Wine Coffee Cafe and we ordered the Thai tea and we're gonna go ahead and try to see how it tastes. It's delicious, looks like a lot of like nicely brewed Thai tea with lots of foam over top and real tea leaves. I've never, I've never seen this. This is a cool. Mm. Mm. Good. The Thai tea is really strong, delicious. I highly recommend coming here. If you're not gonna go to the Lee Wine, I think there's a restaurant on the other side. I know there's a resort, and I know I think there's a restaurant on the other side, but if, if you can, just come for the, maybe the Thai tea or any coffee at their cafe. Mmm, yeah. mm, smells good like jasmine. Wow. Is it jasmine? It's not great. No, just me. Oh, what is it? Ula. Uh, new dog tea. New dog tea? Yes. Yeah. Ulo. Interesting. Interesting. It, it's, gr it's grown here? Huh? Tea from here. Oh, wow. From Thailand. It's called New Dog Tea. I'm not sure how it's spelled. But... Water tea really hot. A cup no more. This is so nice. We have a mother and son operating this uh, little shop. And uh, we're going to try the tea and hopefully buy like one of the teas. But let's uh, try this delicious tea uh, here in Ban Rak Thai where there is a tea plantation. Another fresh brew of Oolong Sensei tea. 
Yeah, so it's, I would say it's much darker than the other one. Mm -hmm. mm. Nice. Is this one? Very, very fragrant. That is one. Yeah. I know it's yeah. Blue. And how's it smell on this one? That's one really good, actually. That's very fragrant. Very fragrant, yeah. Uh, actually, yeah, the, this one does. I really if, thought it was like once, once, once you smell that one? Yeah. You, you know it's a different type of tea right. that we're on. Because I thought it was jasmine. It smells like jasmine, but it's not jasmine. So, a little detour. That's Myanmar. That's Thailand. <laughs> I'm kind of scared, honestly, but we're going to do this. Scary! So, on this trip, we can say that we... Uh, uh, we visited two countries. Yes. Beautiful evening out in town. And I'm not trying to get around the vibe. Yeah, it was really but nice. It's, it's really nice, yeah. So I highly recommend. Um, I know some people say that it's really touristy, but in my opinion, it's like a... Yeah, it's a different experience. Yeah, it's a very different experience, and uh, there's uh, pretty huts, houses, cafes, coffee shops. I mean, just like everywhere in Thailand. Mm -hmm. uh, but this just happens to be like, you know, in a sort of a remote uh, remote, area. yeah. It, it, ta it takes a while to get here. Yes. And I think it's totally worth it. Yeah. Because the sunrises are nice and now we're almost heading to sunset and that's even looking beautiful with all the wooden boats on the lake. Everyone's enjoying having their experience with the tea, trying the teas, mm -hmm. the coffee. Mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, just out and about and it's really nice to see. So we had a lovely day here at Ban Rak Thai. And we highly recommend that you guys come check it out if you're ever doing the loop or in my house. Yeah. If you guys like this video, make sure you share it, like if you did, <laughs> subscribe yes. if you want to. Yes. <laughs> and remember, wherever you go, don't forget to wander. I'll see you in the next one. Okay. Bye. <laughs> I've still yet to see a single tea leaf in her basket. Oh, come on. I'm not an employee here. This is just for the photo op. <laughs> what a sham, right? <laughs>